bodies at a certain point in the design process. This is especially true of imported bodies, which have no design history or sketches and need size changes. Instead of being required to alter the sketch dimensions and potentially needing to update all of the associated features, you can instead simply scale the entities you need to by using the scale command. For this lesson, I'll use the command to increase the size of the light bulb socket component by scaling both its bodies by a factor of 1.2. I'll enable the scale command, which can be found in the modify dropdown on the top bar. In the Scale dialog box, the first thing I'll do is select the entities to scale. For this design, I want to scale the light bulb socket component bodies, so I'll select them from the canvas. Other than bodies, entire sketches can be selected as an entity to scale, but note that unlike bodies, sketches must be selected from the browser. With the entity selected, I next need to select a point. The point serves as the base point for the scale, meaning the size will change either toward or away from the point. Selecting an entity will automatically select a point, and if you are scaling the entire model, the exact point most likely isn't important. If you are scaling only a section of the model, or need to scale it non-uniformly, however, the point will play an important role. I'll enable the point selection box, and as I move over the model, Notice that several points appear that I can select as a point, including points not on the selected entities. Other than these generated points, however, you can also select sketch or construction points. Since these can be placed anywhere in the canvas, they will give you more control over how the entities scale, so I recommend using them. For this design, I already have a construction point created, so I'll expand the construction folder in the browser, show point one, and select the point. The scale is now set up, and all I have left to do is choose how to scale the selected entities. The choice of how to scale the entities is made in the Scale Type dropdown. Uniform will use a single scale factor to adjust the size of the selected entities, while Non-Uniform allows unique scaling in each direction of the world axis. For the moment, I leave it set to Uniform. You can adjust the scale factor with an exact value using either the dialog box or floating window or use the drag handle next to the selected point to manually adjust the scale factor. I'll switch the scale type to non-uniform and the scale resets. In the dialog box, the scale factor option is replaced by X, Y, and Z direction options, each of which is a discrete scale option. Since each direction is related to the world axis, tilted models may need to be repositioned before you scale them. The extra control of the non-uniform scaling can be very useful, and keep in mind that if you do decide you want to scale it uniformly, you can simply set each direction to the same value. I'll switch the scale type back to uniform, the scale factor to 1.2, and click OK to scale the entities. A scale feature is added to the timeline, but keep in mind that since it's a feature, it doesn't update any previously created features or sketches that use the original entities. This is especially important to keep in mind for sketches, since geometry created from them won't update with the new sketch size unless you move the feature to before the geometry is created in the timeline.